Hi Aries, welcome back to Dream Tarot. I'm going to be doing your new lover reading, okay? Before we get started, really quickly guys, if you guys want to shop my store, all the jewelry that you see me wearing today, my necklaces, my ring, okay? Not this one, guys. This one is a gift. But this one, I just put on my website. It comes in silver and gold. It's super pretty. It's not focusing right now, but it's super pretty, guys. Why is it not focusing? It doesn't matter. Um, these bracelets are from my website, okay? And also, the candle that's in the back burning is from my website. So if you're interested in crystal candles, um, jewelry, just really funky pieces, guys, I, if I must say so myself. If you're interested in um, crystal bracelets, you know, evil eye jewelry, anything like that, I have it all on my website, www.dreamtarot.store. Or you can just click that first link in the description box if you're interested. All right. So Aries, thank you for being so patient. I was actually supposed to um, do all these readings yesterday, but things just keep coming up. So, and I have a lot of personal readings that are going out. So if you don't see your video posted, you and Aquarius, it it's literally because I didn't get to um, upload it before I went to bed. So more than likely, whenever you see this, just know a girl is tired, okay? <laughs> We're going to get started, guys. Enough talking. We're going to get started, okay? So let's see. Who is this new lover coming into Aries' life, spirit? Who is this new lover coming into Aries' life? Who is this new lover coming into Aries' life? Give me some cards for this person. Okay, whoa. Okay. Hmm. You have temperance here. You have the five of cups and the high priestess. Whoever this person is, they definitely could be a Pisces. They could be a Sagittarius. They could be a Scorpio, a Cancer even. Or I don't know. Okay, so this person could be, hmm. This person could be a mystery, Aries. Let's just say that. This person's very much so a mystery. Also, they have went through something in the past that has really hurt them. Um, they could still be dwelling on that. That could be a relationship. That could have been that they recently just lost somebody who was really close to them. Okay. And my head is like all cut out of the screen. Okay. Sorry. Um, the five of wands on the bottom, someone literally is conflicted right now. So they could be going through something like emotionally. Okay. But this person also is, um, kind of private. Okay. With this high priestess energy, very private person this is someone that you can tell your secrets to and i don't think they would judge you and i also feel like they would keep your secrets pretty well um what else do we have here with this piscean energy as well somebody could be very intuitive so it's like if you're speaking to this person it's, it's gonna seem like they have you figured out aries like they'll probably ask you like are you hungry and literally your stomach was like growling away, but they didn't hear it. Like say like, okay, say like you're upstairs and this person's downstairs. You guys are in the same house for some reason. They may like your your stomach might growl and then they'll come upstairs and they'll be like, hey, are you hungry? I was just about to make this. Or if you're thinking about something random, they're gonna be like, oh yeah, let's watch this TV show. And you're like, I was just thinking about that. Like someone's very intuitive about you, but it's not, I don't think there's anything weird about it. I just think this is how this person is. They just have that natural gift of being intuitive. So they will understand you without you having to say much, okay? Um, with the temperance card, this is someone who will be patient with you, okay? Or they want patience, Or okay, hmm. Hopefully this person is not making you wait because I know you're not, a, you know, if you're a fire sign, you know, fire signs tend to be very impatient people, but temperance is also another fire sign, saggy energy. So I don't know. I feel like this person will complete you. They also will be a giver. Okay. This person, they will be a giver, but they're not stupid. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You know, sometimes you, you meet people who are givers and I'm not calling any giver stupid. So let me take that back. You know, people who just don't know when to stop giving. This person does. So they're looking for reciprocity. Reciprocity. <laughs> they're looking for you to give back to them. But they will give a lot, okay? They don't mind extending that hand, okay? So let's clarify these cards for you. <sighs> Had a long day, guys. So I just got to... I got to breathe. Did you have a long day too, Aries? You probably had a long day too and you're watching this whenever this comes out. Just breathe. Just 
also too i don't know i know this is not a general reading this is about your new lover but i'm also getting that maybe you've been having some anxiety lately if you ever find find yourself getting really anxious or having anxiety maybe you have like a project that you need to um you know um you have to present in front of everybody even if it's on a zoom class or maybe at work you have to present something or you have to go speak to your boss whenever you feel like your test your your test your chest tightening and you feel like you've been having anxiety um something that helps me is this so okay so through your nose you're gonna breathe twice really fast and then you're gonna let it out through your mouth so it's gonna be like kind of like you're an addict kind of like you're snorting <laughs> <laughs> I have to squeeze a joke out of everything, but you're going to be like. So the next time you're having a mental breakdown, Aries, because I feel like you've been having anxiety, super crazy anxiety lately. Like tomorrow, if you're having if you're at home right now and you're already anxious about your work day tomorrow when you're driving to work right before you get out the car, your test, your chest is tightening. If you're in front, if you're trying to present something. You know, you might not want to do it in front of people because people are gonna be like, what's wrong? Are you OK? But it does work. OK, let me know if it works for you. All right. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. All right. Temperance, please, for my Aries. Temperance. What's the temperance for this new lover? Tell me about this. Tem Oops. Tell me about this temperance for this new lover. The five of cups. OK, literally someone is at peace since okay so this could be an ex or whatever happened in their past it was super disappointing for this person did it crush them all the way i don't think so but did it crush a piece of their heart yes but this person feels at more harmony more peace so if you feel like someone has their shit together or they seem so peaceful radiant they just seem very cool calm and collected i feel like they definitely had to go through some really hard things in the past and it took them a long time to get over it so you could be meeting someone when they're finally getting over something that was toxic in the past okay clarify this five of cups so the temperance is clarified by the five of cups and we also have the five of cups right here so clarify this five of cups please Sorry, guys. It's like my mustache is itching me. <laughs> it is, okay? What can I say? The Seven of Swords, okay? They definitely were betrayed in the past by someone that was really close to them. So just know that. Now, remember, this person's kind of private or secretive with the High Priestess. You won't know this from this person. They're not just going to tell you. You literally would have to ask them or have, like, a conversation with them. Even if you ask them, though, up front, they may sugarcoat what really happened because it's something that they don't want to go back towards, okay? But this was a long hill battle or uphill battle. That what what am I saying? This is a long battle for someone, the two of pentacles. Okay, so just know that. And they really held a grudge against this, the four of pentacles, but now they're finding healthier ways to deal with it. All right, tell me more about this person that's coming towards my Aries for new love. Okay, we have the high priestess. The fool card, okay, could be an Aquarius. Could be an Aries like yourself. You could be dating an Aries or gonna meet another Aries, okay? But someone, literally, the fool card is all about trusting your intuition, okay? Even when things don't look, look scary. So someone's intuition's on point, and they don't even have to see you to know. Like, okay, remember I said the stomach growling thing, right? Okay, maybe you and this person are just on the phone, and they can't hear your stomach growl through the phone unless your stomach just really wants to be heard. But someone is just like, you know, they know what you want, and a magician, they can bring it to you or they can cultivate that. Like someone's very like hands-on, okay? It's kind of like you could say like, um, you could say to this person like, oh, you know, um, my house just needs more a pop of color because I feel like my house is kind of drab. They're going to figure out what color that you like, not even by asking you, just knowing. And then they'll bring you flowers that are those colors. Like say you like sunflowers or they, or you may not even like sunflowers. Like I feel like this person might put you on to new things that you might actually like. This also carries over into the bedroom, Aries. There's going to be things that this person does that you may not think that you would ever try or like, but it's going to turn you on so well, okay? 
Um, I'm also hearing too, so I said TMI, I have to do a TMI warning because I did TMI in, I think, um, Scorpio's reading where I talked about women's periods, okay? Because I said someone's going to meet someone on their period. I don't feel like I need to give you guys a warning for that, but some people are just sensitive and I understand. So this is a sensitive warning as well. But I feel like this person will, especially if you're someone who doesn't like orgasm very easily, even if you're a man, because there's men out there who don't really orgasm easily, Okay you know, um, <laughs> this person will know how to touch you the right way. Okay. Okay. The high priestess is on the bottom of the deck here too, as well. So this person just knows you. It's like they secretly know what you like. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. TMI is over. Let's keep going. This is only the beginning. So let's see what's going on here. All right. So let's get the first impressions. Why don't we? No, 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 no. We're going to have, sorry, I'm trying to skip ahead. Let's see how you will meet this person, this new lover, Aries, all right? So Spirit, how will Aries meet this new lover? How will Aries meet this new lover? Give me some cards, please. Ace of Swords, okay. There definitely will be a conversation here. Hmm, clarify the Ace of Swords. On the phone, okay. It'll be, okay, hmm. This is giving me Pisces energy. Maybe a Pisces is coming towards you. But it's like you and this person will have a conversation on the phone. So maybe you meet this person online. Or whenever you meet this person, you literally could forget that you met them because this is how it's going to play out to me. Either you meet this person online, Aries, or you meet this person so briefly and you guys exchange numbers. They don't reach out until like, what, like two weeks after? And it's like you forgot about this person because you have a busy lifestyle. They also have a busy lifestyle, the Eight of Pentacles. So you and this person are both hard workers. You guys, your first first conversation could also be about work, okay? So this is how you notice this is that person. It's like, oh yeah, I do this. And they're like, oh yeah, I do this. And you're like, oh, how is that field? Is it good? Or I heard about this, you know, like someone's going to try to tell you about your job. You're going to tell them about their job. Like it could be about work. Maybe you're exchanging services. Like maybe you're telling this person like, yeah, I do this. If you're interested, here's my business business card like I'm seeing like someone giving someone their business card and someone forgot about that encounter because they give everybody their business cards but then guess what two weeks later you hear from this person it's like oh where do I know you from oh yeah yeah, yeah. okay I remember you you know that kind of energy or your first conversation is about work okay what else how else is Aries gonna meet this person the ten of wands literally after a work day after a long hard work day you're gonna meet this person or I also see you hmm Clarify the Ten of Wands. Okay, the tower is here. Literally after you're leaving your work building. Okay, tower, Ten of Wands. I feel like this person is going to be like asking you for your... I feel like you don't have a lot of time to speak. So that's how you and this person exchange numbers. And it's like, okay, I'll speak to you later. Or if it's online, you know, you get this person's number. They don't reach out until like a week or two weeks after. Or this is you. This is like maybe they give you their number and it's like, okay... And you never reach out until like two weeks later when it piques your interest. Also feel like too, if it if it takes a long time for someone to reach out, the way that, okay, me and you Aries me on um, a dating site, okay? And we exchange numbers, but we're both very busy people, okay? Now, it's up, you gave me your number, okay? It's up to me to reach out for you, to you, okay? I don't really, I forget about your, you and your number because, you know, I'm busy. But I think, I think about like wanting human interaction. That could be anything. That could be maybe I'm horny, okay? Maybe I just want to laugh. Maybe I just want to hear someone speak. Maybe I just want to flirt, okay? That's going to make me feel like, oh yeah, I did get Aries number. Let me reach out to them. That's how it starts off. But the funny thing is the conversation is going to be about what you guys do for work at first. Okay. Anything else you can tell me before we move on to the first impressions? All right. The hangman. I feel like you're going to be blindsided when this person reaches out to you because you just don't know. What's the hangman, please? It's like you you forgot about this person as well. The ace of pentacles. The hangman is Pisces energy. So remember I said about that Pisces. Um, or did I say Scorpio? I don't even remember. 
but the ace of pentacles so it's like you're gonna be blindsided when you meet this person and by first meeting you don't even think this person is gonna be an important person in your life probably even because the really the um conversation was just about work so it's like oh you know just another day talking to someone but no the ace of pentacles this person is actually gonna be your person you have no idea. You're going to be stuck on this person or they're going to be stuck on you, okay? So that's how you meet them, Aries. All right, so let's get the first impressions. Let's get the first impressions. All right, Spirit, how does this new lover of Aries, how does Aries' new lover feel about, oh, what's their first impression about Aries? What is this um, new lover's first impressions on Aries? What's their first impressions on Aries, please? Ace of Cups, Six of Cups. Okay, someone's instantly attracted to you, not only just in a physical way, just they really like your attitude. Someone also might like that you're a hard worker, Aries, because the Eight of Pentacles did come out. So it's like their first impressions, the first conversation you and this person have is about work or how hard you've been working or how long your day was. Like someone is like attracted to that. It doesn't matter if you're feminine or masculine. They're like, wow, yeah, I like that about Aries. Okay, Ace of Cups. They also feel the Six of Cups. They feel like you guys could have a lot of fun together. Make a lot of memories for the future. So somebody's excited to, to fall for you, okay? Clarify this Ace of Cups. Sorry, I don't show the cards. I'm not a tarot reader who shows the cards because, like, what is this? You know what I'm saying? Like, this is not a tarot lesson, but some of y'all bitch at me on the comments and say, show the cards, show the cards, but if... I, I will. I have no problem against it if you want to see them, guys. But the problem is some of you guys are so assholes when y'all ask me to show the cards. And I'm an asshole as well. So I'm like, okay, I'm definitely not going to show them. But I feel like when it's very exciting cards, like the Ace of Cups, the Ten of Cups, you should show people. It's just a people thing. It's a human thing. You guys like and believe what you guys can see. Okay, so there goes your Ace of Cups, Six of Cups. Let's clarify the Ace of Cups, please. Three of Wands. Okay, this person's going to know right away, straight away that they want to um, date you. If you're meeting someone on a website, okay, or app, as soon as they see your picture, your profile, they already are enamored by you. You're just that hot, Aries. What's the Six of Cups? All right, the Ace of Swords. It's true. They're already thinking about having children with you. <laughs> yeah. They're already thinking about like married life with you or just life with you, creating memories having children going on trips like someone's really interested the ten of wands is here too they and remember i said someone likes how hard you work okay somebody likes that the ten of wands they're like their first impression is that you're a hard worker or that you're very busy but they like that we have here the um knight of cups they really really like that okay that's what makes them want to pursue you. Okay, let's see what your first impressions of this person is. All right, Spirit, what is Aries' first impressions of their new lover? What's their first impressions of their new lover, please? All right, the Six of Pentacles and what else? Oh, shit. Okay, you have a lot of cards here. All right, so you feel like it's going to be equal um give and take with this person because they're a giver and you could also be a giver or you feel like this person is your equal the six of pentacles you feel like things will be balanced you also feel like you could learn from this person i feel like you can i feel like this person's on your level if not more when it comes to whatever you're interested in if you're interested in finance if you're interested in you know whatever you do for work if you have passion somebody is very well educated or just well they are very wise. Like they have a lot of um, experiences in life and they definitely can. This person has something to offer, okay? So if you dealt with dead-end relationships in the past where you felt like you were giving but your other person was not giving. And when I say that, I'm not even talking about just giving. I'm talking about just you were on a certain level and someone could have been beneath your level. Let's just take it for what it is, right? This person will be balanced, the Six of Pentacles, if not more. We also have the Tower card here. So I think you're going to be shocked by this person. And it, we have to go back to the TMI, okay, about sex. The Tower is always gives me sex. You know, I'm not a pervert. That's just what I see, okay? But I feel like with the Tower card, someone's going to shock you, especially in the bedroom. Eight of Pentacles. You also think this person's a hard worker? And you like that, Aries. What is this? Are you dating a Capricorn? <laughs> y'all both really like how hard y'all work. It turns y'all on, okay? All right, what else is here? Um, Nine of Wands as well, okay? Hmm. 
you're trying to think so the the your first impressions is you're liking everything about this person you're shocked but you also feel because i feel like there's two first impressions with you and this person so remember what i said i said that there's going to be that first meeting that you guys have, but then you guys are kind of going to be forgetting about each other for some reason. Then there's going to be that second introduction, like, hey, I'm Aries for real this time. Like, let's get to know each other. I feel like you're going to be shocked by that. I also feel like, too, the Nine of Wands, you're trying to imagine if you could... You're trying to see your future with this person, and I, f I feel like you do see this, your future with this person. Let's clarify. What's the Six of Pentacles for how Aries um, sees their new lover? Okay, Knight of Cups, you are so into this person once you get to know them. Once you see that this person is a giver or that they have something to offer, you're in there. That's all. That's all you really need, Aries, is like a, a cute face, you know, or a handsome face, a beautiful smile, whatever. And someone who can teach you something as well as learn from you. And I feel like you want a good listener. And I feel like this person is that as well. And I also feel like you just want someone who has something to offer. And this person has plenty, okay? And I know that because you really like them, the Knight of Cups, okay? All right, what's the Tower card here? What's the Tower card, please? Okay. The Will of Fortune. Hmm. Like I said, something's going to shock you. So when you first meet this person, you're not going to think that much of them. But once you really get to know this person, you're like shocked. The Wheel of Fortune, the Tower, the Nine of Cups. You're like, okay, I'm really pleased with meeting this person. The Moon card as well. But this person is a little, they're a mystery to you. So even when you get to know them, you like them. But you're like, you're going to, maybe you're going to overthink a little bit and be like, what is this person hiding? I don't think they're hiding anything. I just don't think someone is like, out there you understand what i'm saying so it's kind of like if you were to sit down with me and we're talking and then you expected me to like open up so much but i kind of just been going with the flow feeding off of your energy so i also want you to look at that aries if you want someone to open up more maybe you need to open up more too it's kind of like you want to know the insides and out of this person but hey you gotta it's the six of pentacles y'all are gonna bounce off of each other so the more you open up the more this person will too let's say the pentacles here Seven of Cups. Mm. It's your wish. It's your wish, Aries, to find someone who's a hard worker like you. And this person is coming straight to you, okay? And also, too, I feel like you've dated or you've had, you've had chances to date a lot of people who were hard workers. But the problem with a lot of those people are that they're very rigid, stuck up, like they have a stick up their ass. The, the fun thing about this person is that they're the King of Cups. They still have emotions they'll still be romantic with you you guys will both work hard throughout the day they might come home and massage your feet cook you a dinner run your bath you know have sex <laughs> yeah this person is still has a romantic bone or a couple of romantic bones in their body they're not all rigid they are a hard worker but they still um want to romance you and i think that's gonna really please you okay nine of wands for aries how they feel about their new lover the first impressions Nine of Wands, please. Nine of Wands. Two of Swords in Reverse, okay? Hmm. Look at you. Two of Swords in Reverse. So you're not going to block this blessing, okay? You also could have prepped yourself for this. In the past areas, maybe you did block a lot of people that were interested in you because you felt like they weren't the one. But you're thinking right away, like, okay, can me and this person actually move in the future like is this someone that i would really be happy with settling down with and you see that the two of swords in reverse and you have no problem opening up to this person you know what's crazy i feel like you will be the more open one with this person and you want to know more about what their past is what what they want out of you want to know everything just know that the more that you open up this person will bounce back on that as well okay but it could just be like right now Sorry, guys. My mom is hitting me up. One second. Let me just um, contact her really quickly. All right. Sorry about that, Aries. All right. So two of swords in reverse. Let's clarify that further for you. How you feel about this person, this new lover. All right. We have the magician here and the ten of swords. Huh. Also see that you may. Okay. This took a turn. All right, so let me tell you what I feel. Also, 
either you feel like this person is hurting because of Ten of Swords. And remember, this person was initially the Five of Cups. I feel like your person is getting over it. But for that to pop up, it could be like a, you know, a red flag. Like, okay, not a red flag. Like, this won't be your new person because this is obviously your new lover. But that something that might raise a red flag for you. So with the Two of Swords in reverse, the Magician and Ten of Swords, you could feel like you do want to move forward with this person, but you may drag it out just to see if this person's really healed with the Ten of Swords. You also could drag this out because maybe you're not healed from something, the Ten of Swords, okay? So it could go vice versa in that energy. So keep that in mind. All right, so let's see. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's see what their intentions are with you, Aries. Okay, let's see what this person's intentions are going to be with you. Spirit, give me um, Aries' new lover's intentions with Aries. Give me their intentions, please. Give me um, Aries' new lover's intentions with Aries. What are their intentions in this connection? What are their intentions? Give me some cards. Okay, hmm. What else? Five of Cups. What else? So that's coming out again. King of Wands. Three of Cups. Okay. So remember I said someone could be going through something. But this is their intention. So I don't understand the Five of Cups as their intentions. It also looks like this person too could want to get you out of a slump. So maybe someone sees that you're in a slump. Maybe you could have met someone while you're going through a slump. Okay, if that's not you, Aries, if you know you're not going through a slump right now, you're not, you know, reminiscing on something bad that happened. This is definitely this person. So let's see what the five of cups is. I don't understand how that could be their intentions with you. King of pentacles. Okay, it's like, hmm, I don't understand how this is that person's intentions. So I, I'm gonna, I feel like this could be your energy that they see. Okay. Even if it's not, somebody wants to be dependable for you. So if this is you going through the slump, they want to let you know that they are here for you no matter what, okay? Now, if it's them, they still want to show you that they can be dependable even though you can notice that this person is going through something. With that King of Pentacles, they still want to show you that they're down for you. They still want to show you that you guys can move forward, that they're commitment ready, okay? But I feel like maybe you could read between the lines or it's vice versa, okay? Because it's just weird that this is this is their intentions. Their intentions also could be get, getting out of the slump to pursue you to make sure that they are healthy for you if you guys were to pursue a relationship. Yeah, the Two of Cups is on the bottom of the deck. All right, let's see. Um, clarify this King of Wands. King of Wands is the Knight of Cups, okay? So this person wants to take initiative. They definitely will be the chaser in the relationship, Aries, okay? This person will chase you. Even if you're a masculine, the feminine will definitely chase you. She has no problem showing you that she cares or that she loves you or that she wants to pursue you. But whoever this person is, they'll do more of the initiative when it comes to romance or just, you know, showing you that you're appreciated, okay? Okay. What's the three of cups? So this person just wants to make really fun memories with you. They want to show you a good time, okay? Or they just want to have a lot of fun with you. Like this is the kind of person who also wants to be really make sure that you guys establish a close um, friendship too. Like they feel like that's very important. What's the three of cups? The lovers, okay? So somebody wants to be your lover and your friend. Okay, cute. What else? What else is here? <laughs> All right, what else do we have here? Okay, we have the Knight of Swords and the Temperance card. Something with patience is here. I don't know if this person's gonna, you're gonna have to like, they're testing your patience with them, you know, or this, because something will be delayed. So like I said, but remember I said the connection might be delayed between you and this person. Like y'all meet once, but then it's like later or like a month later, then you guys are really being romantic with each other. Like I feel like the first time you meet this person, is not, you guys aren't really pursuing each other at that time. So something's definitely delayed here, Knight of Swords, but it's worth the wait, the Temperance card, okay? Hmm. It's interesting. What's on the bottom? The Judgment card. So definitely happening again. Like, okay, you and this person were supposed to pursue this relationship earlier, but you guys, the Eight of Swords, both were stuck or had other shit going on, and then you guys come back together. Now is the right time. I don't know, whatever. 
whatever guys <laughs> all right let's see what the first date is gonna look like okay let's see what the first date is gonna look like all right Spirit, give me the first date between Aries and their new lover. Give me the first, sorry, Aries, my nose itches. I'm sorry. Ugh, it itched so bad. Give me the first date between Aries and their new lover. I'm so sorry. All right, let's see. All right, the Seven of Swords. What else? Someone's acting weird. Someone's acting very weird. Someone could be very nervous as well, but they're acting weird because of that, Okay. Someone could be very anxious, okay? Maybe this is why I gave you the breathing exercises because maybe you're going to need it on that first date, but I don't understand what is going on. Okay, we're going to keep going. What else is here? First date between Aries and their new lover. Oh my God. What is this, guys? Five of Wands. Okay, what is this? One of your dates, this could be the first date, but definitely a, one of your dates, you're going to be around this person's friends or you're bringing them around your friends. But someone is being weird in front of their friends. Five of Wands, Seven of Swords. Okay? Why the Five of Wands, Seven of Swords? Definitely could be your person because they're coming off as the secretive one. What is this? Two of Pentacles, your first date could, in, could be more casual where this person has their friends or they invite you, invited you to a friend's party or somewhere where their friends are going to be, okay? You might be thinking to yourself, why is our first date in, including other people? They're also acting very nervous around you, this person, okay? Also, two Aries, you feel weirded out. You feel like someone's keeping secrets from you because everybody keeps looking at you wherever you're going it's like people keep staring at you or looking at you you could even feel like people are whispering about you okay now remember i said this person is the five of cups so they definitely could have had an ex that was in the picture right before you came into the picture people are like oh who is this new person who is aries who's this new person that is dating whoever guys sorry my mom is calling me hold on one second Aries, I'm so sorry that I have to keep pausing your freaking video. Um, let's keep going. <laughs> sorry, guys, with this stuff that's going on right now on the phone. All right, so let's see. Tell me anything else. Give me another storyline for their first date, please. Give me another storyline because the Emperor. Okay, what about the Emperor? That's you, Aries. I just see you being around a lot of people. So your first date, you might not even really like this person. The Five of Swords. Or something's going to rub you really the wrong way. Okay, clarify the Five of Swords with the Emperor. It looks like you're upset. All right, the Two of Cups and the Two of Swords. Interesting. So you like this person. You just feel like they took you on a horrible first date. Okay, I'm sorry. And it may be because of a lot of people are around. It's not just you guys. Or you feel spied it okay and i think you feel this way because their friends could have been shady now i just want to tell you this if you do go through this aries i want you to understand that you may be perceiving the situation wrong these people could just literally be interested and that's what people do when they're interested they talk okay and people are talking about you but it may not necessarily be bad and it's not like they're playing you like, oh, he was just with his ex last week. Hopefully it's not that situation. I feel like it's more so, oh, wow. Like I haven't seen anyone since, you know, their ex. And this is interesting. And Aries is very handsome or Aries is very beautiful. So, but I feel like it's going to irritate you, okay? I feel like it's going to irritate you. The two of swords, the five of swords, but you also are the two of cups. So, it's like you had a good time with them. You just didn't have a good time in a situation. It's not your tea. Don't invite me back to anything with your friends. Let me get to know you first and then we can hang out with your friends. But the Ace of Cups, you still like this person for some reason. You might like them a lot, the moon card, okay? But you just hated the date. You hated the date, but you like the person. Anything else about this date? I just see a lot of people around and I feel like people are talking, 
okay? All right, four of swords. I see you thinking about this person afterwards, though. Four of swords, you're like thinking. You're like, hmm, what is Aries thinking after the first date? All right, page of swords, you're, you're kind of on your defenses, but also what else, though? What else? The judgment card. Okay, you would go on a second date with them, but you just hate the first date. The Eight of Swords is here, okay? Hmm. It's like you're telling yourself, like, I can't see myself dating this person, but I see you fantasizing about them later on. You had a Three of Cups. You had fun with the person. You just don't like that they brought you somewhere. <laughs> I was going to say public, but everywhere is public. But just around people that, like, this is supposed to be intimate. We're supposed to get to know each other. Instead, I had to get judged by your friends. That's not cute. So something like that with other people around you, like, can we just go on a dinner date next time? I don't need to be going to this event, okay? That's how you feel. All right, guys. So sorry about all the interruptions during your reading. I couldn't help that, guys. I, you know, deep breath, okay? <laughs> all right, let's get the last words for my Aries. Let's get the last words for my Aries, please. All right, Spirit, someone could also just want to show you off, Aries, the first date, but it's like, come on, bro. Like, I feel like it's going to irritate you. Wherever they take you, it's not, you're like, don't ever take me there again. That could also be a reason why, <laughs> that could also be a reason why, remember how I said it'll start, but then it stops, but then it starts for good? That can be a reason why it stops, because you're like, okay, I don't think I'm going to date this person again, but then you end up dating them again, okay? So it's that kind of energy. Sorry, I know you don't want to hear that. Last words for this new lover coming into Aries' life, please. Last words for this new lover coming into Aries' life, please. Someone is very intuitive, okay? Because the intuitive card is coming out. All right, anything else? Well, okay. Hmm, interesting. This is interesting. All right, we have marijuana. So you and this person could both have a love for marijuana. Or if you don't, this person likes to smoke weed, okay? Um... X for a reason. So this person does have an X in their life, okay? Everybody has an X in their life. May not be in your life, but they were at one point, right? Someone's X is going to be, I don't want to say a problem, but it's definitely going to make you, I don't know. Someone, someone could have been with their X for a long time. And it's like, you're the new Aries on the block and all their friends are shook. Their family is shook. This person is shook. So just know someone's X. It could be that five of cups energy, okay? All right, we, or your ex could be that five of cups energy as well. Like maybe you have an ex that you were with for a long time. Now you're dating someone new and all your family members, your friends are like, who the fuck is this, right? All right, booty call. So this person, you could literally just be a booty call at first, but it's gonna end up being a relationship down the line, okay? Also have October, Libra, or Scorpio you could be dealing with. You could... um you could have met this person last month and you you weren't feeling them from the first date, but you and them will be reconnecting, okay? What else is here? We have highly protected. So this person does have a spiritual side or just very intuitive. Um, what else is here? We have you make me sad. So someone could be sad when you meet them, maybe over their ex, or this could be you. I don't know. I don't know, okay? We also have party time. Remember it said someone's taking you to like their friend's event or their party or whatever also this could also mean that you and this person are going to have just loads of fun together like it's always a party when you two are in the room we also have movie night and netflix and chill you and this person could have a lot of movie nights you guys like to watch movies together they turn into booty calls that way okay we also have police slash law enforcement so hopefully the police never had to get involved um, you could also have a police officer coming towards you. You could have a lawyer coming towards you, public defender. You have someone who has a history with the law enforcement, okay? I don't like your friends slash family, okay? I was so confused reading for your first date, but now I see <laughs> that I'm not fucking kidding. Like, it's gonna shock a lot of people that you're walking into this person's life and your first impressions might be, I don't like your friends because they seem like they're talking about me or they're giving me these weird looks or their family might even be doing that to you or your family is that way, okay? So that could be that person who's gonna be your new lover. This could also be a May Taurus or a Gemini coming towards you. Um, yeah, okay, so there's that. Aries, thank you so much for your time. 
Sorry, guys. The phone call I just got was kind of crazy. All right, so thank you so much for your time, your energy, your love, okay? I appreciate your energy so much, Aries. Um, if this resonated for you or if you believe this to be your story, if you like these type of readings, please make sure you thumbs up the reading. Comment on Moon down below for Dream Tarot. Subscribe to my channel for your next 48 coming out in a couple of days. If you want to shop my store, shop any of my jewelry, my candles. If you want to book a personal reading, if you want to follow my Instagram page where I just did a reading for you guys, all those links will be in the description box down below. Also, I would appreciate if my Aries would follow my second channel. It's my vlog channel. I'm going to be posting a vlog on there tomorrow. If you're interested, um, that link is in the description box. I would really appreciate your subscription there as well. Love you guys so much and I'll speak to you soon. All right. Bye guys.